in this video i'm gonna show you how to make your text look like they're emerging from darkness so let's get started Hey what's up guys, Drewal here and as you can see this is the final output and the best thing about this effect is that it's actually really easy, looks super cool and super easy to recreate. So to create it, let's go and create a new document. I'm gonna go to file, create a new document. In the size here select pixels, the width is 1200 and the height is 1920. Resolution is 72 and that's about it, created. And the background color is white and I actually need black. So you can simply just press Ctrl I or Command I and it will make it black or you can do it manually. Double click on the background, unlock it, right click, select paint bucket tool, then fill the black color, whatever is your choice. So we have the black background. After that, let's write in the text. For that, select your type tool here and in the font I'm using popular standard. The main reason I'm using this font is because they are bold and they are huge. We need that extra thickness you know because this effect doesn't look that great on thin fonts okay so now i'm gonna type the word uh, for that make sure you have selected your type tool then do a click and type in the word so i'm gonna type h after that uh, to make it bigger just double click on the t here then go to this option here uh, this little box and then make it big like really really big and make sure that this first t is off so uncheck it and you have really cool looking edge and in the color I'm actually using uh, this really dull red color it doesn't matter it's not that important in case you're interested it's 922828 then hit ok uh, close it after that to make it actually really big I'm gonna press ctrl T hold my shift key and then make it uh, I think this big uh, it's much more convenient compared to continuously going back and do it manually so now I'm gonna apply some layer style on it and for that right click here and then select blending options and in the blending option go and select gradient overlay. Now in the gradient this is already done so I'm gonna make it normal. For that let's go make it normal and this uh, okay. Okay so this is what your typical gradient palette should look like. In the blending mode I'm gonna go and select overlay so I have this really nice transition of dark to bright and in the gradient First go and select your typical black and white gradient but only having black and white didn't give me the output that I was looking for so I added another color. To do that you see that little hand icon here when you see that do a click and it will allow you opportunity to add another color. Click on that and here in the color make it gray so we have a decent transition between black to white. Let's say here then hit ok now this little dot is also important so when you see this arrow not the hand the hand will end up creating another point we don't want that make sure that you have that little arrow and then go and move it around according to your need this depends on you like what kind of look you are going for then go and hit ok uh, most difficult part is done i'm not kidding that was the most complicated part then hit ok now i'm gonna make a copy of it because for this effect to work you need every single letter on different layers so i'm gonna make copy of it press ctrl j uh, after that select your move tool then hold your shift key and drag it like this and make sure it overlaps a little bit and in case if you have you have difficulty use your arrow keys so i'm gonna go and yeah this looks good after that double click on your T and turn it into E, uh, confirm it. Uh, one more thing I need on the E, H it's completely fine because we have no word on the left side. But on the E I need drop shadow. So right click here, again go to blending options and here go and select drop shadow. On drop shadow it's typical black color on normal and the opacity is 21, angle 90 and here is uh, the things get, here things get a little bit interesting because I'm pushing everything out. So I have really thick uh, darkness here, but uh, it fades really quickly. Like it doesn't go all the way too much. So for that, to get that, I basically made, made sure that everything is near each other, distance, spread, and size. Uh, sounds complicated, when you do it, you will realize what I'm trying to say. 
So if you need the numbers, they are 59, 46 and 128. That's it and hit OK. OK, the process is done. Now all we have to do is make copies of these layers so that we can finish the word. Uh, so I'm going to press Ctrl J. Then make sure I have my move tool, hold my shift key and drag it out like this. Then double click and rename it to L and then confirm it. Then make copy of this one. Control J. Both words are ready and now we can group it. So select your bottom layer, hold your shift key and click on the top layer. Then press Control G. But make sure you don't include your black background. We only need the letters. Now I'm gonna add shadow effect on all the letters to make it more interesting. And to do that, simply go and apply layer mask on your group. Then select your gradient. So right click here, select gradient tool. And in the gradient, make sure you have your standard black and white gradient. Hit OK. Also make sure that reverse is off. After that, click here, hold your shift key and click in the middle. It's good, but I think we can do better. So again, click here and this time I'm gonna drag it even bit more. Okay, little too much. Uh, okay, so I think somewhere around here, this looks perfect. Now the reason why I told you that the color doesn't matter. First of all, we will fix brightness and contrast. To do that, create new adjustment layer and select brightness and contrast. Then I'm gonna increase my brightness a little bit. Uh, and then also I'm gonna add uh, contrast. I think this is good enough. Then go and close it. And for the color and overall lighting, go create new adjustment layer, select hue saturation. And here you have all the controls you need. So you can change the basic hue. Uh, and maybe if the hue is really bright, you can go and decrease the lightness uh, and a bit saturation to make it look better. That's why the color doesn't matter. And you can have it however way you want. So that's it and this is the final output and as I said you can create it in like what 5 to 10 minutes at best and it looks super effective. So I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions feel free to ask me in comment section below. Till then goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.